There is an estimated 6,500 people in the United States with leprosy. Most of these cases are found in areas that are part of the Deep South. The highest concentration of cases can be found in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and Texas. However, pockets of leprosy can also be found in other parts of the U.S., such as New York, California, and Florida. In Louisiana, the Lafayette-based National Hansen's Disease Programs NHDP, has increasing numbers of leprosy cases every year. Since 2017, the total number of cases in the state has risen to over 450, with one-third of those cases being children. In addition to Louisiana, Mississippi also has a large concentration of leprosy cases, specifically in the Gulf Coast region. In Mississippi, most cases of leprosy can be found in the areas of Hancock, Harrison, Jackson, and Stone counties. The increase in cases in Mississippi can be attributed to the high poverty levels, overcrowded housing conditions, and lack of access to health care. The estimated number of cases in Alabama is between 20 and 30 annually. Cases are most likely to be found in the mobile area, as well as the Birmingham and Montgomery area. In Georgia, most cases are found in the southwest region of the state, in counties such as Coffee, Seminole, and Thomas. South Carolina has had the highest rate of leprosy cases for the last several years. Most cases in South Carolina can be found in the coastal regions, including the counties of Jasper, Dorchester, and Beaufort. Texas now has the second highest number of cases in the United States, with an estimated 200 cases each year. The cases are mainly concentrated in the Houston and Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan areas. New York has the fourth highest number of reported cases, with most occurring in New York City and the capital area. California also has an estimated 40 to 45 cases annually. The majority of these cases are found in Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Francisco. Florida, though having a generally low number of reported cases, is the only state to have the Zika virus and leprosy co-infection. Here, most cases have occurred in Miami-Dade County. While the small number of cases in the United States is significant, the burden of leprosy is much higher in developing countries. India is estimated to be the country with the highest number of cases, with over 250,000 in 2013. In Sub-Saharan Africa, Ethiopia, and Brazil, the number of cases of leprosy is also particularly high. These places are affected by a combination of factors such as poverty, overcrowding, and inadequate access to healthcare facilities. Despite the instances of leprosy in the United States, public health agencies and professionals are proactively looking for ways to reduce and control the spread.